Greetings YouTubers, we're having a day out at the Verulamium Museum and a walk around St Albans. Uh, Verulamium Museum, a fantastic Roman museum, we're going to do that first, then we're going to go around the grounds, have a look at some of the artefacts and Roman stuff that's actually in the parks. That leads straight into St Albans and then all the way back through St Albans, back to where we started. Should be a good fun day out, hope you enjoy sharing it with us. Let's get stuck in. Now how's about that? That would be quite a nice find, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Roman gold. <gasps> Look at those little beauties. The sandwich hoard. Now that's my kind of sandwich. Absolutely fantastic the way you can learn all about the different Roman coins and see some fantastic examples right from those tiddly little ones there all the way up to some big monsters like that. By Jove. I wouldn't mind getting a signal on a few of those. Dream on, dream on. I think what I like about this place is there's just so many objects to see. So many real, true historical objects. And some nice little mock-ups as well. It's very, very interesting learning all about the metalworking and basically how they did the things they did. Some beautiful things on display as well. So as you can see, you've got little walkways into various areas and each one tells you a different part of the Roman story. You just take them one at a time, go all the way around and find out all you need to know about the Romans. And see some fantastic things while you're at it. Roman miles up Watling Street from the capital, London. Now, Watling Street is the A5183 to the M25. And it was here, off Watling Street, that I was buried. Outside the city, on a hill. My particular plot was in a prime position, as befits my status close enough to the road for passers-by to admire the quality of my grave marker, which once would have stood here. Of course, I wasn't the first to be buried here. Well, you've had a look around my house, seen a little of the way we used to live in Berylinium. I suppose now you'd like to know a little more about me, the skeleton that lies before you. Well, when I lived here with my family in AD 200, Berylinium, was a key junction in our Roman road system, just 26 Roman miles up Watling Street from the capital, London. Now, Watling Street is the A5183 to the M25. And it okay, spindles and spindle walls. That's something we all find quite a few of, or at least we do in parts of the country. And there it is, the full article. Used for spinning wool. Fantastic. Okay, so we've come out of the Verulamium Museum now. We've done that bit, and as you can see, massive grounds, fantastic open area, beautiful for families, loads to do. There's a lake over that side, but we're going this way, and we're going this way because up here there's an old Roman hypercourse. So there's lots of other bits and bobs spread out around the parks near to the Verulamium. You can go for a walk, see it all, and then when you go that way, you end up in the town. So let's go and have a look at the, look at the hypercourse. Thank you. 
Lord said, as a great result of talking to the gifts of the Lord. Okay, so in the foreground you've got a piece of original Roman wall. There's various bits of this dotted around the, uh, the land, around the park. Then in the background you've got St Albans Abbey. There's 150 metres, or about that, of wall in one area of the park. I haven't found that yet. And there's a lake over there. It's just absolutely beautiful walking around here and bumping into pieces of Roman history at the same time. Well, St Albans Abbey certainly is an incredibly impressive building. It's huge. Can't wait to get closer. All right, from the Abbey, we go through the old gateway. By gun, there's some history there. If these walls could talk, as they say, it's amazing. Under we go. Hello. That old door. Oh, another one. Ooh. The great gateway of the monastery was erected in 1360s and besieged in 1381 by the insurgents of the Peasants' Revolt. How revolting. Oh. Early graffiti. Yes. Graffiti is not a new thing. Wow, the inside of this cathedral is absolutely stunning. It is absolutely stunning. All the usual stuff you'd expect to see, but it's huge. It's a huge, huge cathedral. Oh, look at the stained glass at the back. There's a wedding going on next door. Goodness knows what they pay for that but there's actually a wedding going on while we're in the main part of the, uh, of the Abbey. <laughs> we'll walk forwards and have a look at the stonework. It's absolutely unbelievable. It really is stunning. Well, we've had a fantastic day. We've been all around the Verulamium Museum. It's only a fiver per person to get in. The car park for all day is less than four quid. And then we've walked all around the grounds, seen the Roman wall, the hypercourse, and at the top of the park, we've gone into St Albans itself, which is a beautiful little town. Lovely pubs, restaurants and shops, bustling place, really good fun. And then we've come all the way back to the Verulamium, to the car. It's been a fantastic day. Our legs are aching, but I thoroughly recommend it. Okay. Till the next time, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll see you soon.